Hi, you guys. I hope I'm coming on live now. I'll give a few minutes for you guys to tune in and me to find me on my page. We'll make sure this works. And I don't think it is. I don't think I'm live. Hmm. Oh, there I am. I hope we don't start off our Facebook Live tonight like it was a couple weeks ago. With all the technical difficulties, I really think I've paid my dues. <laughs> tonight should be seamless, right? Hi, Karen, Sarah, Kathy, Jenny. Susan, thanks for tuning in tonight. What a beautiful day we had here in Wisconsin. Hi, Heather, Karen, Holly. It was absolutely gorgeous weather. I spent most of the day working, but when I got everything ready for tonight, I got to spend a little bit of time um, outside. My stepdaughter Anna was here with some of her girlfriends and some of their kids. And uh, I did get to go out and visit with them for about an hour. So that was good. And my husband's like, you need to get back to work. <laughs> so I've been working all day. Hi, Christine. Hi, Nancy. Kathy. Francie, welcome. Hey, Francie, you need to check your instant messages on Facebook. Kathy Miller sent you one. It's important. But after my live is over. Hi, Becky. Sierra. Welcome, everybody. Linda, glad you could tune in. Carrie, thank you. It is um, good to be home. And I've always said that I've never been on a vacation long enough where I've said, I'm ready to go home. That doesn't happen for me. I love vacationing. Hi, Patty, Debbie, Marsha. Yeah, I had a little technical difficulties. I started this live feed and it didn't work. I don't know what happened. And then I started it, I, so I shut it off and started again. And that wasn't working either, but then finally it popped in. So I don't know. I hope we don't have any trouble tonight. Hi, Katie. Karen, thank you. <clears throat> Hi, Carol. So, I've got a lot of stuff to cover tonight. Um, I am going to start with some things that are going on with Stampin' Up. I've got my little cheat sheet here. Thank you, Francie. And I'll tell you guys all about Alaska and I'll show you the rest of the loot that I got. Um, I did go live from Juneau, Alaska on last Sunday night and I had some people that were commenting, oh, I didn't think you're gonna be live tonight. Neither did I. But since we were in port and I had a good internet connection, um, I could go live. And if you'll notice, if you guys watch that live from Alaska video that I did, um, it's kind of real grainy, and that happens when your internet connection isn't as strong as it should be. So, well, thank you. Thank you. I feel fabulous. I feel very rested. Um, I'm going to let you know just what's going on here. And uh, let's see. We still have some promotions happening. Ten free ink pads when you buy the discount shopper kit. And can I just say that I have added <clears throat> my team, not I, me and my team has added 23 new discount shoppers or business builders to our team in the month of July. Holy cow, that's amazing. Um, if you would like to join as a business builder or discount shopper, either one, I love both, you can get 10 free ink pads and that promotion is over on Tuesday. So it ends July 31st. The starter kit is $99. You get to pick $125 of whatever you want. And then you get a bunch of other stuff, including 10 free ink pads. So the kit is actually worth $220 or something like that. You don't pay shipping on it, so that's cool. Um, I'm freezing on Linda's. Anybody else having problems with my Facebook Live freezing on them? comes my husband get to work he says <laughs> it's 
kind of a funny thing in our house because he'll say, um, don't you need to be in your office making some money? <laughs> Remember, he's retired, so I'm kind of like his sugar mama. <laughs> okay, so Carol says it just gets blurry at times. Okay, well, and that's the nature of Facebook Live. There's not much I can do there. Um, hi, Kathy. Make sure you guys are um, clicking on the share button. You can do that anytime. I am home and using my internet, so it should be working good. I've got some pretty strong internet going. Um, okay, so 10 free ink pads, that's over on Tuesday. So if you would like to join my team, I offer a ton of stuff to my team members. So um, just leave me a message or instant message me and um, or email is even better because I check my email very frequently it's kelly at a stamp above.com and I'll answer any questions but you'll find the $99 kit button in the right hand column on my blog you can click and get all your information there or right at the top of my blog is a menu and you can click on join my team and that'll take you right there oh good Francie's not um, freezing so that's good <laughs> Oh, I hope we don't have too many problems. Um, if it's freezing and doing all kinds of goofy things, when I save it to the Facebook page, it should be okay. It shouldn't do that. So if you guys missed some parts, you know that I always save these videos to my Facebook page. And you can go back and you can fast forward or rewind, stop, pause, whatever you need to do. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Diana. Thank you for the share. I appreciate it. Okay. Um, the other thing I wanted to let you know about is our buy three, get one free. That's also over on um, Tuesdays, the last day for that on our designer series paper. You can always find that promotion also on my blog, astampabove.com. Um, I know I've ordered a ton of paper. And as of Wednesday, that's August 1st, I will have a new host code. So if you're placing online orders after August 1st, the host code I'm going to show you tonight won't work anymore. But um, you can always find that host code in the right-hand column of my blog also. Okay, let me see. Um, I am getting ready to select my uh, holiday mini catalog recipients. Remember, if you're local, I will give you one in person, or you can stop by and pick one up, and I really appreciate your um, cooperation on that because it does save me money that I can then put into product instead of all this postage. And um, Stampin' Up! will send out the mini catalogs for us, but we have to pay for them and also the postage, so they're not free. Um, so just so you know that and if you placed an order with me in probably I think I'll go back 12 months I'll automatically send you a holiday mini catalog and I can show you the cover tonight when I show you all my loot which is right over here <laughs> yeah oh my face looks thinner well thank you I only gained two pounds on my cruise which is pretty amazing because I was eating a lot of desserts I know I love sugar don't we love sugar? I love sugar. So um, I only gained two pounds and I went right back on my bicycle walk today and started right back on my regular routine. So we'll see if I can lose some more weight. Um, let's see. What else do I need to talk to you about? I do have a VIP online club. Um, you order $25, minimum $25 each month for six months. And at the end of that six months, you'll get to choose $30 in product from me. So that's kind of a neat thing. Each month I send you a technique card with instructions on it with the technique and also a card using the technique. So that's a pretty pretty cool thing to be part of. You'll also find information on that on my blog or you can email me and I'll email it to you. Okay, um, let's get to our winners right away. So the last Facebook Live that I had was on the 15th. I keep looking at a calendar over here. So if you're wondering what the heck I'm doing, that's what's happening here. Um, July 15th was the last Facebook Live, and I chose winners here. I have a set of glitter enamel dots. These are so fun, you guys. And the winner for that is Kathy Eck. I've never seen anybody with the last name that's only two letters, E-K. K, 
Kathy Eck. Well, maybe it's maybe she just did that on Facebook. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, Kathy is from Kenosha, Wisconsin. I will need your address, Kathy. So if you can instant message me your address, that would be awesome. I'll get these out in the mail tomorrow morning. And then that was for comments. So Kathy left a comment on the 15th, and that's what she won in the drawing. And then for sharing my video, um, Mary Pucker of Pickerel, Wisconsin is going to win a pair of our paper snips. These are fabulous. Um, and Mary, make sure you're very careful with these because they're super, super pointy. And if you stab yourself, you will bleed. I know this firsthand a couple different times. <laughs> and then last but not least, um, for placing online orders, I have the stamp set Friendly Conversations, and I know I didn't mirror my screen, but it freaks me out when I do that because I'm always futzing with my hair, and I go to do this, but I really need to do that, but in the screen, it, it's just confusing to me. So we're just going to have to read backwards until we flip down on my table. Um, Susan Knaus of Ackley, Minnesota is the big winner. And I see Lori saying that her friend wants to sign up, but she doesn't want me to be mad at her or something. Is that what you just said? Okay, hang on, because I just lost my feed on my computer so I can see more of your comments. So hang with me for a second. I just refreshed my page. And here I am. Okay, there we go. Let's see, Lori says, my friend wants to sign up, but she wants me to ask you and the message just went away. So I'll check back on that and always feel free to private message me about that too, Lori. Um, so Susan Knaus, big winner, Ackley, Minnesota. Woohoo! And then for sharing my video, um, the live from Juno, Alaska video, I said I would do a special drawing for that. And Kathy LeMay of Oshkosh, Wisconsin is the big winner. And I am sending Kathy 10 handmade cards. So yay, hi Tammy, hi Danielle. So yes, um, these will all go out in the mail. And Kathy, I need your current address. I have two different addresses for you in your online accounts and I need to know which one is current. So if you could private message me or email me that, that would be good. Hi, Susan. Yay, you won. I always love it when my winners are on here. <laughs> okay. Um, one other promotion that I wanted to talk about, and I know, again, this is going to be backwards, but we're just going to have to deal with it. Color Your Season starts August 1st, which is Wednesday. This is a fabulous bundle with framelits, new watercolor pencils, and this amazing stamp set. And we're going to be using it tonight. I'll show you this flyer again when I flip my phone over so that you can um, read it. Okay, because I know you can't read it. Hi, Charlene. Hi, Lisa. Um, that's another promotion that starts in August. So I'm super excited about it. I got to play with that set um, bundle today and really had a good time with it. All right, so my trip to Alaska was amazing. I went with my mom and her friend Rosie. They live out in the country, but right across the road from each other. And both of them are widowed. So it's just a wonderful friendship that they're able to share. And they, they do so much stuff together. They love flowers and they have all these flower gardens. And so it's just, it's, it's a fabulous friendship. And I got to take them on the Alaskan cruise with me. And can I just say, that seeing somebody's excitement through new eyes to go on a trip like this, like neither one of them have ever been on a cruise ship. They've never been on such an extravagant trip and Stampin' Up! really does um, give us extravagant trips. Like everything is top of the line, beautiful. Our room was huge compared to other staterooms that I've had on these cruises. So that was really nice with three in a room. Um, and to be able to see the trip through new eyes, um, you know, because sometimes you start taking things for granted. Like, for example, the huge metal artwork on the walls where the elevators go down. I mean, it's like three or four stories high. And, and when you've been on several cruises, you're like, oh, yeah, that's nice. Right. 
but their um, excitement over, oh my gosh, look at that, and look how fancy this is, and look at all this food, and I can't believe that we can go into a dining room and get served all this. How much does this cost? And I'd say it's all included. Oh my gosh, it was just so fun to see that. And we had a few little um, incidents, but they were not a big deal. Like the first day we got on the ship and my mom lost her purse, and we were pretty nervous about that. My mom doesn't carry a purse, like, ever. So she brought one along on this trip, and we couldn't find it. And so I was really worried because her passport's in there and her money is in there because at this point we hadn't taken everything out and put it in the safe. So um, we were a little nervous about that. We went back to the dining room to see if we could find it, but they were closed. So we had to come back in 30 minutes. And, you know, it was kind of just a really anxious time because I, I didn't say anything, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope she didn't, somebody didn't take it. And, um, it was about probably an hour later that we found it. When we had gone out on the deck of our stateroom, she had tucked it under the table. <laughs> and then Rosie lost her water bottle and we couldn't find that any place. And we went to guest services and lost and found and we went back to the dining room to see if it was there and it wasn't. And two days later, we found it in the refrigerator where she put it. <laughs> And then my mom has this little thing that she puts all of her credit cards and driver's license in. All of her credit cards. I think she only has one or two. And um, then we lost that. Um, but later in the day, we found it. It was on a shelf where she was keeping her hats inside a cupboard that had a door. So that was kind of funny. I lost my medication thing. I couldn't find it any place, but I knew that I had packed it. So like the second day on our trip, it was in the zipper pocket in the middle of my purse and I had never opened that and looked in it. So, <laughs> so there were just all those silly little things going on. Um, we went on the train ride in uh, Skagway. Yep. And that was beautiful. And they just loved that. Now, re re I'll remind you that I've already been on this cruise. So I've been to all these places and seen all of these things. Um, so that's why I would say they loved it. I loved it too. But again, it was so fun to watch through new eyes. And um, then in Juneau, we went whale watching and we saw five orcas and a humpback whale. So that was super cool. And I guess the orcas only come through there every two weeks. So we got lucky. The weather was 70, 80, 85 degrees. So that was great. It was a little cooler for me who likes the hot weather, but of course it was great for my mom and Rosie. And um, the only thing that was really kind of crappy was our flight got canceled in Minneapolis on um, Friday night. And so we had to sleep in the airport on the floor. But you know what? I can sleep any place just like a rock star, and I did, and we were home by 7 a.m. Saturday morning, so <laughs> it wasn't the end of the world. Okay, so let me show you some of the things that I didn't get a chance to show you. If you guys want to see all the things that I got on the Alaskan cruise, when we're done with our Facebook Live tonight, you can um, go to my page and look for my Live from Alaska video, and that'll show you the rest of the stuff that we got. But this is a pretty cool little deal here. Um, let me see if I can hold it right side up. That would be good. This is a scratch map, and um, it says scratch map is a high quality wall map with a top foil layer. Why? So you can record everywhere you visited and reveal a vibrant world of color and detail below. So you put this up and then you scratch off all the places that you've been. And um, I'm gonna see about framing this and hanging it someplace in my house because I think that would be very interesting to um, be able to do that right so this was a gift from Stampin Up and then I will pull over my little cart here I think I showed you guys the water bottle this is a really nice water bottle that was a gift for um, I think for your uh, first guest and then we got ribbon ribbon came in a lot of things here's some new ribbon and this is half of it's satin and half of it's grow grains, and, but it's one piece. So that's really cool. That's coming up in the holiday mini catalog. Um, also this, uh, what is this called? This is called Texture Weave Ribbon in Poppy Parade. That is a very popular color for Christmas. 
And then, let's see, where's a matching stamp set here? I was super, super excited about, I don't know if I showed this to you guys already, this stamp set and a matching punch. Yeah, so cute. Suzette, I'm really sorry that it's blurry. Um, is Are other people having blurry problems? I really think that that's on your end. Your internet isn't great, maybe because I know that I have really good internet. I pay extra to jack up my internet um, power or whatever you would call it. Uh, then we got, I think I showed this to you guys too. This is a corrugated embossing folder. So you know corrugated cardboard? We're gonna be able to make it. Kathy Eck, I need you to instant message me your address. You won a prize. I don't know if you saw that earlier. I'm glad you're on tonight. So I'm super, super excited. I love corrugated cardboard for scrapbooking and for cards. It's fabulous. Then we got the Christmas Thinlit dies. And I'm going to open this up so you can really see it because I'm really excited about this. Okay, so I know they're back. Oh, look at they're right. They're backwards when I look at them. But because I didn't do that mirror thing, you can see them. These words go with this stamp set. Oh my gosh, super excited. I love, love, love the words for Christmas. Okay, and well, let me get this back in here so I don't wreck it. Then I was super duper excited about this one too. Stampin' Up! gave us tons and tons of stuff. Here we go, ready? Ah, I know, I thought the heavens opened up and dropped these right out of it. <laughs> These are, I'm so excited about this. And the reindeer, holy cow. Love, love, love the reindeer. All right, what else can I show you? Let me pile this stuff up so it's easy for me to get out of the way when it's time. Um, I think I showed you the Santa's Workshop Memories and More Cards and Envelopes. These are just red cards and envelopes coming to you in our holiday mini catalog. We got some little um, All is Bright paper clips. Let me see if I can get these out so you can see what they are. Little star, whoops, here we go. Little star, uh, little Christmas trees. I know, I love the reindeer too, I'm so excited. Okay, Kathy, um, I'll try to come back and find this later, but if you could put it in an instant message when I'm done here, that would make it easier for me so I don't have to go back through like 500 messages. <laughs> that would be great. And then um, I think I showed you this, the swirls and curls embossing folder. Yay! Okay. And I think I showed you guys the pick a tool. Oh, 148 watching. Thank you, Jody. Thanks for keeping me up on that. This is the Take Your Pick tool. Oh my gosh, we have been begging for this for a long, long time. So I'm super excited to finally have it. It's going to be just a lifesaver. Oh, and the Bat Punch. Yay! Love Halloween. Love bats. Well, not real ones, okay? I have a really funny bat story that I may tell you if I have some time to ramble tonight. Um, okay, I got Memories and More. This is from the big catalog called Big Plans. So I love those. I got some of these jewels. And then here's some new washi tape. And oh, let me show you this baby. Look at this box. Is this not the coolest thing? Yeah. This is one of those speaker things. And I think it's like a Bose speaker. Yeah. How do you use the new tool? I'll be doing a Wednesday video on that, Karen, on that new tool. So you watch for that. Um, I haven't opened it and used it yet. It won't be available to purchase until September 1st. So we got time, right? My downline Christine gave this to me in a really pretty card. And it says, do what you love, love what you do. And it's a magnet. I wanted to save that so I could show it to you and then put it on my filing cabinet where I love to put my trip magnets. And then here's a spoon rest that I bought. 
So I buy a spoon rest almost every place that we go, or at least one place on trips. Because we have big um, parties in the summer, and um, I need uh, spoon rests by all the you know crock pots and bowls and whatever. So I like to get these. They get chipped up and you have to throw them away, but I just think it's a nice gift to bring home. And we used to buy all kinds of garbage on these trips, and we've really gotten smart about it. Oh, thank you for telling me to plug in. Oh, yes, yay, okay. Thank you very much, Linda. I was not plugged in yet, so, okay. Danger, danger with all these new, <gasps> I know, Kim, uh, this mini catalog, thank goodness Stampin' Up! gave me all this free stuff because it is gonna be so, so dangerous. Can't even tell ya. All right, and then I showed you guys this paper called Joyous Noel. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's a specialty paper. However, I did not show you this cutie patootie Toil and Trouble Designer Series paper because I didn't have it yet, I don't think. Hi, Sandy and Janet. Glad you guys could join. So I'm going to do that right now. Look at that. Isn't that cute? On the back are these little cats. Let me do the next one. Okay, let's pull this up like this. We got these funny little ghosts. Aren't they cute? Hang on. And brooms. Isn't that cute? And let's see, here comes some more. This is really kind of cool paper. It's kind of all kinds of um, cauldrons and cats and lines and spiders and the back of it is polka dotted. So that's cool, I think that's lemon lime twist. And then we have all these Halloween hats. Super cute, right? And frogs. How cute is that? <laughs> and last but not least is um, bats and then some star paper. I am so excited. I love Halloween. You're gonna be seeing a lot of great Halloween ideas. We didn't get a Halloween stamp set, so I can't show you anything there. Uh, yeah, I do believe demonstrators will be seeing the um, holiday mini catalog online tomorrow. Hi, Caleb. <laughs> um, thanks for tuning in. So yes, online demonstrators or discount shoppers, if you buy that kit from me, you get to see that catalog tomorrow. Then I also opened the All is Bright, and I think I didn't show that to you guys either, did I? So here's the beautiful All is Bright paper. Beautiful, beautiful, traditional Christmas colors. Yeah, aren't these cute? And like I said, if your internet connection is pixelating, it's blurry, it's freezing, you can go back and watch um, from the beginning once I post this video when we're done. It'll post right to my Facebook page and then it won't be doing that. Okay, hang on, I'm having a little trouble here. Okay, so look at that. This is like the bokeh effect. And then the back is just kind of real mellow little images, splotches, I guess. Then we have this and this. And I know they're upside down, but you know what stockings look like, right? And then here's some more beautiful evergreen paper. And the other side has like little lines on it. Kind of hard to see here, but it's pretty. Trust me. And then, hang on, I don't want this all to fall out of here because that's kind of a disaster. Poinsettias. And look at the, oops, hang on. Look at this paper on the back, the poinsettia paper. This is the back. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I know, right? And then, I think that's that's the last one. This one is called All is Bright. So those are both the designer series papers that I, I didn't show you on the um, Alaska video. Oh, and I got a pack of the Bright 6x6. Love these little 6x6 packs. Here is our holiday mini catalog. Yeah, I wish I could show you the inside, but I cannot. That is against policy. 
So Stampin' Up! actually really lightened up their policies. Before, we would have not been able to show you any of these products coming out in the mini catalog. And they said, go for it. But we can't show you the inside. I am selecting customers right now to get the mini catalog. If you want to be on my list and you have not ordered from me before, I would be happy to send you one. Just pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above.com and I'll put you on my list to get the holiday mini catalog. Love to send one to you. I appreciate your orders after I send you catalogs because I do have to pay for the postage and everything. So always appreciate that. All right, let's see. Okay, so you guys, I've got... Oh, now isn't that interesting? My top of my screen just said low internet connection, so maybe there is some type of a problem in our area. I don't know. This better work. I had enough problems last time, right? But anyways, do you want to see the swap cards now, or should we stamp? And then I can maybe show you the swap cards at the end. What do you guys think? Let me know. I'm going to pick up all this stuff and get it out of my way. You decide... Start posting your comments. Should we look at swaps now or stamp now and look at swaps when I'm done stamping? I'm just gonna move everything. I got a stamp, a swap cards, a she. Oh, I forgot to show you this. Now what, Tammy? Swap cards or stamping? That is an ornament that I bought. That's another really good thing to buy when you're on vacation. And because, you know, I said you come home with a bunch of junk that you never use, right? So a Christmas ornament every year when I'm putting our Christmas tree up, I can, oh, this one's from Alaska and this one's from the Panama Canal and this one's from Italy. And I can, you know, you kind of reminisce about, oh, that was from our trip from Hawaii or whatever. Oh, and I think you guys might have heard the next incentive trip that Stampin' Up! is um, doing after Greece, which is the one that I'm earning right now until the end of September. The incentive trip for the next season is to Maui, and I've never been to Maui. I've been to Hawaii twice, the Big Island and Oahu, but now we're going to go to Hawaii, so that's pretty exciting. I mean... I mean Maui, not Hawaii. We're going to go to Maui. Okay, so we're going to stamp now. And I'll show you the swap cards at the end. If you want to stick around, I am happy to do that. And if not, you don't have to. Okay, I am going to flip my screen here. Cross your fingers, say a little prayer, nothing happens. If we get disconnected, all you have to do is click on the name of my Facebook page and scroll down until you see Facebook Live 729, okay? So that's, it won't be the first Facebook Live that's on there, it'll be the second one. All right. I'm trying to see if there's any way I could go to my settings on my phone and I can't. So, um, okay. Flipping it around. Hang with me. And Yay! Okay, I'm going to set you down. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes until I tell you to open them. Okay, here we go. Hope I don't touch anything that messes things up, right? And then I like to know where am I here? I'm pretty close to the edge, so that's good. I think I'm gonna lower you guys so that we're not so high. And I need to get a pair of players in here because, well, I can't lower you. Hang tight. I'm going to see if my husband will come in here and unscrew this thing. Hang on. Unscrew this part. I can't get it 
it's like stuck or something. Yep, thank you. Yay, Steve! Everybody's clapping for you. Great. Great. He goes, he goes, great. <laughs> okay. Hi, Kelly. Okay. Okay, I think we're good now. Is that close enough, you guys? This is the host code that you'll be using if your order's under $150. And if it's over $150, you won't use that code. You'll still get special perks from me, but you're gonna get your own rewards if your order's over $150. Okay, everybody's saying thanks, that's so sweet. I will tell him that. All right, here, I'm gonna let you look at this Color Your Season promotion, and I'm gonna get out my first card here. Yeah, husband to the rescue, right? You know, I really found that I don't have um, really good strength in my hands anymore. You guys have that problem too? It's like I'm really pretty weak and I've always been a real strong person. So that's kind of a little hard to take. You feel kind of helpless. I don't know if maybe I could get one of those, you know, those things that you can go like this to build your strength up in your hands. I don't know if that would work or not, but whatever, right? <laughs> okay. I am going to be showing you some cards tonight again with um, whoops, designer series paper because why not? It's on special and I love seeing all the different ideas with designer series paper that you can, you know, make because that's fun. And guess what stamp set we're using? Uh, yeah. Abstract Impressions, yay, and the Springtime Impressions Finlets die. So I've already die cut my butterfly out of Calypso Coral. That seems to be just a really, a color that I keep gravitating towards, probably because it's a um, one of the colors in our designer series paper. So I'm using the Garden Impressions designer series paper, and this is part of the promotion. And I should really pull that promotion up on my screen so that I know what's going on because I think I told you guys something was and it wasn't. And then somebody corrected me, so I did correct that whole thing, but you know, I'm going to pull that up. Yep, here's my buy one, get one free. You can always find all this information on my blog under every blog post. I will keep those promotions in there as long as they're still valid. So if you're ever wondering what's going on, you can look there. Yeah, so for some reason that locked up. That's great. I'm starting to think it is a problem on my end here with this internet. Okay, so I have got a piece of paper and in my haste to get this done today, I did not measure anything. This is three and a quarter by five and a half whisper white piece. And then I've got the Garden Impressions. This pretty little floral side is the one I'm gonna use. This is one and a quarter by five and a half. And then I've got a um, base of our Whisper White Thick cardstock. Linda, I am glad you like ideas on using DSP because I do too. And this is a really cool thing. You know, we end up with a lot of little strips and little pieces. Hang on, I'm going to grab my paper pack here so I can show you what I mean. So as I'm making cards, here's my Garden Impressions paper. I should put my label back in the front here where I like to keep it. But we end up with all these little strips. You can see I have a gazillion little strips in here. And that's how this card came about, is I just took one of those strips and I cut it to one and a quarter inches and I'm like, that'll make a great card. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, my um, buy three get one free didn't open. Hang on, I'm gonna look at something else here. There we go. And here we go. All right, buy three, get one free. I just wanna make sure that the papers that I'm using are in here. Yep, they are. Okay, good, whew, that's a big relief. All right, let me get back to my Facebook page. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my bone folder to give my card. I, okay, so this is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. 
And do you guys ever have this where you've got just, it's not meeting perfectly here, like this side is a little bit longer? Yeah, I get that a lot. It's really hard to score right at five and a half. So I always like to watch that, and I'm gonna put that part that's sticking out on the front, and then you don't see that, right? It's just a little, little trick that I do. Okay, I don't know, Arliss. Cindy's Stamping Studio. I'm not quite sure why you're putting that up on the screen. Um, I just kind of want to remind you guys that this is my Facebook Live and we don't want to share links to other people's websites. Okay. And... Here we go. So I'm just going to take this and glue it right on the side little bit of glue here and this is going to cover that whole side so from top to bottom of this card and again this is a great way to use up these little pieces that I have so many of in here you can see I've got a ton of them I could make a gazillion cards well maybe not a gazillion but a lot of cards now this piece is where we're going to do a little bit of stamping and I've got the petal pink which is one of my favorite colors and it's, it's not really pink, it's kind of peachy. And I love that it's a real, real pale peach. I'm gonna take the thank you and stamp it right down here. I wanna make sure you guys can see me okay, right? Okay, I think you can. And then we're going to take the solid image flower. So we've got these two little flowers I'm using and then these little leaves here. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna stamp it in the petal pink. And I'm gonna put one about here, one about here, and then one right here. So we've got three flowers on there. I'm done with this color. Then I'm gonna bring in Calypso Coral. And Arliss, it's not my focusing. It is the internet that is causing the problem. I can't do anything about that. It is what it is, and that's just kind of the nature of live video. I'm sorry. But sometimes, like, there's probably storms someplace, and that's creating problems with our internet, like, up in space or something. You know, all that magic that happens out there. You know what I'm talking about, Arliss, the things we don't understand. There we go. So that's just a little accent with Calypso Coral. How many of you have gotten the chamois? Who has the chamois to clean your stamps with? I have to tell you, this thing is the best thing they've ever made, hands down. I absolutely love it. And you just take it and put it under water and squeeze it out and it won't come clean. It's gonna always look dirty, but it doesn't affect your stamps. You do this, there's no color that sticks to them. So it's really super cool. Yeah, I know, we're just gonna have to deal with the focus going in and out because I just, I can't do anything about it. All right, now I'm gonna bring in my Calypso Coral Butterfly. Do you guys see where I'm going with this? Let me find some. I've got my mini dimensionals here. And I'm gonna put one right there. And I don't know if I can fit another one on there without seeing it from the front. So I'm gonna take just a little sliver of the very edge. The mini dimensionals have a really wide edge on them for doing things like this. So I wanna stabilize my butterfly here. Get that backing off. I'm gonna bring that right in here. And then I've got some rhinestones. I'm still using up my old rhinestones. And I'm gonna do a rhinestone about here. And then a couple more that I'm gonna come in and put here. So I'm just gonna put three rhinestones on here because, well, why wouldn't you? I love saying that because who doesn't want rhinestones on their card, right? 
So I've got some rhinestones and now this is kind of the cool part. This is going to be a raised panel and hang on, I'm looking for regular size dimensionals. Here they are. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this and this just really gives your card that little extra oomph that's going to make it stand out and be um, amazing, right? It's going to be amazing. Okay, here we go. Fingernail in the middle helps you get those backings off. Fingernail in the middle. Really does help. You guys, how many of you know this little trick? I know you've seen it, me do it many times. All right, here we go. Here comes our card. I'm going to stand this up so that I can try really hard to get this right on the edge because this panel is going to cover the whole right side of my card. And of course, nope, I didn't do it. I want it to be straight. Here we go. And that's just kind of a neat look with that raised panel. And let's see, we should really stamp some flowers on the inside to make it really cool. You could put a saying in there if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna do a little flower right down here, just like that. Isn't that cute? I love, love, love this. Oh, you know what? We have green. Did anybody see that I didn't use the green? Yeah, Linda, I will upload this video to YouTube. You don't need to worry about that. I always upload my videos to YouTube. So you'll be able to see that. And I'm using shaded spruce for my leaves here. Adds that, you know, you can see the leaves over here. That's the color that's in this paper. So that's where I got my color combination. So a great way to use up your strips, your little scraps, right? I love figuring out ways to use up those little strips. Okay, let me get these closed up. Got another great card for you. Oh, I have a card to show you too. I wanna show you my inspiration. Where did I get this idea from? Let me clean these off quick. I just use them again. I got the idea from, are you ready for this? This card. And isn't this beautiful? This is the Thank You Thinlet and the Thank You So Much I think is the name of the stamp set. And that's where I got the idea for this. Um, this card was made by Pam Staples. She's in some groups with me. I think I've met her at convention. Um, and she used the In Color Designer Series paper over here. And um, the Thank You Thinlet is also raised up. Super, super cute. And then this panel is raised up on the side. So that's where I got the idea for my card. I know sometimes you guys ask me, where do you get your ideas from? Well, it can be something just this simple where I've changed all the stamps and the die and the paper and I'm using the same layout. I just thought this was so pretty. Her card was just strikingly beautiful. Okay, let me get this put away and we will do the next card. Here we go. All right, what am I gonna show you next? I think what we're gonna do next is the promotion because I got a really cool thing to show you here. Um, we've got part of that color, your season promotion, this one. Part of that promotion is new watercolor pencils. These are called Watercolor Pencils Assortment Number Two, and they are $12.50. And then you've also got the framelits that I'm gonna show you here someplace. Hang on. Oh, there they are. I'm like, maybe I'm not going to show them to you. <laughs> no, I am. These are the framelits. And there's a lot of framelits in this bundle. We've got this flower one. And then we've got the leaves. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll show you what I did with it. How about that? That'll be easier for you to see. So here are all the ones that are die cut, and then I stamped the bell so you could see what that shape was supposed to be. That's this one right here. So here's the dies. 
and then also these, um, I don't know what shape you would call those, kind of like a cloud shape, I guess. Here's the cloud shapes. <laughs> so you've got this big one, and then you've got a medium one, and then you've got a small one. And I hope you guys can see this. They're stitching around the edges. And even cooler than that, this is where I cut the big one out of. There's stitching left on the negative piece that you would maybe throw away. This could be put on the front of a card with a greeting or some image stamped in here and used as as well. So I, I die cut this. You can keep the part you would normally throw away and use that too. So that's cool. All right. Um, I am going to put these away so I don't lose them. I like to do this so my customers can see what the dies cut out. That's a nice little tip for those of you that are demonstrators. Let me get this back in here. There we go. And then, so we've got the framelit set. That's $33 all by itself. And then we've got the stamp set, which is right here. And it's so big, we've got it in two cases. So that's um, kind of crazy, right? We have the flower image, some greetings. We've got like little wheat here and some um, foliage. And then we've got fall leaves, Christmas holly, a bell and Christmas sayings. Thank you. This is a really, really versatile, nice stamp set. And there we go. I'm playing with my computer again because my screen is also locking up, you guys. Okay, so there's our stamp set and our framelits. And now we're going to do a little stamping. I've got Versamark ink here and Memento Black. Here comes my cardstock layers. Here we go. And then I've got a ton of samples to show you using this bundle too, so that's kind of exciting. I always like to see um, other cards made with it, right? So we've got four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. This is the thick Whisper White cardstock. And then I've got a piece of black, and like I said, I didn't measure these ahead of time for you. Um, three and three quarters by five. And then granny apple green that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. I've got a scrap of granny apple green here, and then a one inch piece of um, whisper white that's one inch by four. We're gonna trim this down, and then just a little tiny strip quarter inch strip of our gold glimmer paper. All right, so the first thing that I wanted to do was use this die to cut out a leaf image on the granny apple green. And through the magic of TV, yes, magic, I've already done that. And then, oh, I'm also using some blends and some white embossing powder. Let's get rid of this, hang on, I've got to find, here's my sheet, oh, there's my embossing buddy. And hang on, I'm gonna have to turn my ceiling fan down a little bit here or my embossing powder is gonna go everywhere. So this is a really cool technique using um, the blends, the Stampin' Blend alcohol markers. So I'm just going to rub my Stampin' Buddy, or my Embossing Buddy, that's what it's called, Embossing Buddy, all over my black layer. And then I'm going to ink up that big flower image. Now I love that the stamp set called Blended Seasons has summer, spring, fall, winter in it. I just, I think that's just makes a stamp set so awesome. Okay, so we've got Versamark there. I'm gonna bring in my little sheet of paper here and dust this with some embossing powder. So you said something's going on at Facebook. That's great because we didn't have enough problems last time, right? <laughs> Thank you, Linda, for letting me know that. All right, I'm just gonna take, I've just got a real floofy little paintbrush here 
and I like to kind of just blow little hard puffs at my embossing. So earlier today I dumped this all over my heat tool, my desk, and my leg. Yep, I did that. <laughs> Have you guys ever done that? Dumped your embossing powder? I didn't put the lid back on, I just set it on there and I went to pick it up and it dumped over and it went everywhere. So I didn't lose too much of it. This was full, but what are you gonna do? Don't be whining, right? Okay. Here comes my heat gun. If you guys want to plug your ears or turn your volume down, this is going to take a second because I did not do this ahead of time. I did not pull the, and through the magic of TV. <laughs> so I said I was going to tell you the story about the bat. So when my stepdaughter Anna was um, young, she was probably about 16 years old, I heard somebody upstairs like, screaming, laughing. I wasn't sure what was going on. I thought, is she laughing? And I'm like, no, I actually think she's crying and screaming. So I went upstairs. We live in a two-story house. I went upstairs and I found Anna on the floor in her bedroom with a laundry basket over her head and she was screaming and crying. And I'm like, what in the heck is going on? Well, it turns out that she was up in the attic getting something and a bat came down and it flew into her bedroom and she was freaking out. <laughs> so I came downstairs, I opened up the door, um, I opened the front door up, propped it open, opened the back door, propped it open, and then I kind of shooshed the bat down the stairs. Well, the bat came down the stairs and ran in the living room where my husband picked up a racquetball racket and then promptly hid under a blanket. Yep, that was my husband. <laughs> I hope he's not listening anymore because that's kind of a naughty story to tell. I'm like, you guys got to be kidding me. So I ushered the bat around the house for a little while before it finally just flew right out the front door. I'm like, you guys, what a bunch of sissies. That bat is not going to hurt you. <laughs> yeah. So you guys can see that I am coloring over my white embossing with the alcohol markers. And because of my background paper is black, you can just color. You don't have to sit there and try to stay on the line. Now, when you do this, it's going to appear as if there, where you colored on the black paper is a little darker. But as soon as it dries, it's not darker anymore. It is You can't even see it. So this is a pretty cool little technique to color white embossing powder with the alcohol markers. I'm just going to color all the green ones. So yeah, that was my funny story I wanted to share with you while we had some time because i am got to fill in the silence, right? Yeah, my husband doesn't apparently doesn't like bats. And I'm not saying that I do like them. They're not my favorite either, but I grew up on a farm. I should say I grew up in the country, and we had bats all the time. Bats lived in our attic. It was crazy, all the bats we had. Now, can you see that where it's like darker there? But once this dries on that black paper, you're not going to see this at all. So I'm using Granny Apple Green Light. It's one of the new in color markers. Stamp and Blend, I should say, alcohol marker. And then I'm using Lovely Lipstick Light to color. I'm going to leave the center of my flowers white because we're going to do something else to them. This is a really super easy little thing to do. You could just um, white emboss a bunch of these and then go sit in front of the TV and color the, color the white lines, whatever color you'd like them. You could make a whole rainbow here. This is a great thing to put on um, to get that discount shopper kit. You get, a, you get to choose $125 worth of product. Getting all these um, markers is a great way to use that money. And it's free shipping, right? And you get to have all the benefits of being on my team at least through the end of December. If you don't buy anything between now and then, you'll just go inactive. Nobody will yell at you. Nobody will show up looking for the stuff back from the kit that you didn't ever, you know, place any orders under. Nothing will happen to you. It's not a... It's just nothing. Okay, wink of Stella right here in the center, and that'll give our flowers a little bit of glimmer. I thought that was just kind of a nifty little idea there. So what do you guys think? Oops, I see I missed a spot. Hang on. 
pretty cool technique. Now, this would work great with um, thicker images too. You would have more color from the Stampin' Blends if you embossed with a thicker image. Pretty cool little technique. Okay, let's finish this card. So here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to take my Black Memento ink and I've got the stamp from the set that says, I just miss you. And I'm going to stamp that right here. Oh look, I got it straight. That was just a shot in the dark, you guys. I didn't wanna stick my head in the camera. I did that and now I'm going to flag my end. I'm gonna make it kind of a shallow flag as opposed to deep, you know, cutting this longer. Ooh, look at, I've had some caffeine today. What are you guys drinking? I am drinking a Pepsi because I have found that if I have one Pepsi a day strategically placed, I do not get tired. And I figured I needed all the pep I could get to spend with you tonight, right? <laughs> okay, I've got this little tiny strip of gold glimmer paper and I just felt like my card needed a little bit of bling but I didn't want too much bling. I tried ribbon, I tried baker's twine, I tried all kinds of stuff, but nothing really did it for me. Like just a tiny little bit of this peeking out. I think this is gonna be the perfect ticket. I'm just going to put that on my layer and put some tape on it and tape it in place. Look how crooked I got that. Yeah, that was good, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Try that again. I'm gonna set this down here. Now, when you flag the end on your layer, you wanna make sure that you've got your glimmer paper sticking pretty far over the end that's flagged, that's got that banner cut on it, okay, like this. Because if you don't do that, you're not gonna have enough to trim this up and make it look like it's just flowing into that point, okay? So there's, your, there's a good little tip. And then I'm gonna put this right on the edge like this with some dimensionals. One and two. That looks, is that? It's a little further than I wanted it. There we go. And I'm gonna put this on here before I glue this to my next layer because I wanna be able to trim this up against the edge of the black here and now I can trim it and it'll be perfect right all those little tips you learn as you the more you stamp the more you learn these little things and it looks like I got that just a touch crooked dang it and that looks better okay next we're gonna add this to our granny apple green here we go and I just love that pop of color. Of course, anytime you use black, you've got a pop of color, right? And then to our card front. And I left kind of a bigger margin around the outside so that you could see that green pop against the white. What do you guys think? It's a cool new technique. Well, it's not new. I mean, we've done it before. But using the, um, I use the Granny Apple Green and the Lovely Lipstick Light Stampin' Blend Markers to color over the white embossing powder and then a little bit of Wink of Stella in the middle. So a really nice, simple card with a cool technique. Okay, got another one coming. Me, oh, 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 you know what? I knew there was like, there's, I'm missing something. I'm missing something. This little piece, the card looks plain. Why does it look so plain? I am going to put this right up under here. There we go. That's what I was missing. Yay! Woohoo! Super, super cute. All right, on to the next project. Oh, I told you guys that I was going to show you a bunch of samples, didn't I? Well, don't let me get away without doing that. Let me put some of this stuff away. So again, this is using the Blended Seasons stamp set and the matching framelits. 
here we go. We have got this really pretty card, and here's those framelits. I love the layering effect. This is our new soft sea foam and the black satin ribbon with some black pearls. And then we've got this one. And this one is actually, yep, this one opens up like this using gorgeous scrape and those beautiful flowers. And then there's um, Wink of Stella all over these too. I think I could probably hold these up for you so you can see them a little better. Again, using the same stamp set. And here comes another one. Uh, this is the edges sponged on here to make it look like a yellow layer. And then it's stamped here and then on this layer. So that's pretty cool. These are all swap cards I received. This is some of the Garden Impressions Designer Series paper. So that's kind of cool. And that leaf is um, one of the framelits that's in the bundle with the Blended Seasons. Oh, and then this is that Subtles folder that makes your cardstock look like linen paper, you guys. I got to use that. I didn't tonight. I'll do it next time. Hopefully I remember. Because um, it is really cool. You can make any paper into linen paper. I hope you can kind of see that. Here's another one. <clears throat> this I think is like, I think this is my favorite one. But look at the gold, that little bit of gold there. And we've got a little strip of gold here. And then they use the marble technique in the background. And this is um, Rich Razzleberry with Mango Melody. And again, that Subtles background embossing folder makes that paper look like linen paper. So this is beautiful. And then we have some Christmas. Check this out. Isn't that pretty? Again, with the designer series paper. This is... Um, Part of the promotion, this is the mistletoe paper that's buy three, get one free. Here's another one. And then this one's pretty cool. This uses the, um, what is that wax paper that's sticky on one side? The um, press and seal? Yeah, press and seal with dazzling diamonds on it. Isn't that cool? And again, with that Subtles embossing folder for that linen look. Here comes another one. Isn't that pretty with a little bit of that pearlized um, doily coming out there? And another one. This is again the mistletoe paper. Oh, this one's got the inside stamped too. And here's another one. Mistletoe paper. Another one. I like these little silver images popping out there and then here's that bow that's also a die that's in there isn't that pretty and these are some of our red rhinestones with the mistletoe paper and they stamped right over the green polka dotted paper and the subtle embossing folder in the background again super super pretty all these cards were made with the color your seasons bundle blended seasons and then Hang on, I'm going to grab the, the stitched seasons framelits. Yeah, these. So very, very cool. All right, we have another card. I'm super excited to show this one to you because I think you guys are going to be like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. <laughs> I've got some more ideas for designer series paper to share with you. So here comes a really cute idea. And then I've got a whole bunch more samples to show you when I'm done with this one using the same layout. So I think you're gonna love this. Okay. Now I am using the stitched all around stamp set and the matching framelits. And that's the one that comes with this framelit and through the magic of TV, I have cut one out. <laughs> I love saying that. Okay, this is So Saffron cardstock. And I'm just going to fold that in half. And then I've got Memento ink here and So Saffron ink. 
So this little image right here, I'm really loving this image and this stitched all around. I'm going to stamp that in So Saffron ink and stamp it on So Saffron cardstock at the top and the bottom of my layer. Then, let's see, I'm going to do the Memento ink. I'm gonna have to see which way is right, right side up. Okay, this is right side up. And I'm gonna stamp that on this little piece right here. There we go, enjoy your special day. Isn't that fancy? I love that fancy font going on there. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White for the inside that's four by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna stamp in black a happy birthday greeting. Now this one happens to be from the Better Together stamp set, but any happy birthday greeting will work. This is a great greeting set. This is only one of the case. There's two cases because there's so many um, greetings in this Better Together. One of my favorites that I, I've really enjoyed it was also in the catalog last year. Isn't that funky? I love funky fonts. You guys know that. And then I'm going to go back in here and do a little bit with that right at the bottom there. And I just, you know, you know, decorate those insides. We're going to just put that right inside our card right away here. And we're done with this. And we're done with this. And now I'm gonna show you, here we go again with designer series paper. Now this is the Garden Impressions, which again, is part of the promotion, buy three, get one free. We're gonna take this three by four and a quarter inch piece, and we're gonna put that on a piece of Calypso Coral that's three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I see this is just a tad long here. I always like to turn it over on the back, trim it up, and we're gonna put this right on the front of our card. Now again, super, super easy layout card. Great way to make up a whole bunch of cards using designer series paper. I mean, you could sit down and make a ton of these in an afternoon. We're gonna put some dimensionals on here. Gosh, I wish this wasn't such crummy um, reception tonight because at least I'm keeping everything in the frame of the camera, <laughs> right? I mean, I'm very challenged. That's hard to do. And I've been doing a really good job at that tonight. Hmm. Okay, here comes our enjoy your special day. And then one little thing I wanted to do is add a rhinestone. And this just adds that tiny little bit of bling to the eye on Enjoy. And isn't that just a really cute card? Super, super easy. So I used impression Garden Impressions here. And then I'm going to show you the other cards that I made. Where are they? I just had them someplace. Oh, hang tight. Oh, here they are. Here's another one, Oops, let me get this out of the way, using the Garden Impressions with So Saffron Base, and then I used Blueberry Bushel in here, and again, this is three by four and a quarter, and then three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Blueberry Bushel on here. Oh, I forgot to put a rhinestone on there. Hmm. And I just set them someplace and don't know where they are, so I'll have to get a rhinestone on the Darling. Here comes another one using, again, still the Garden Impressions Designer Series Paper. Crushed Curry and Blueberry Bushel. Isn't that cute? And then I did some with the Petal Promenade Designer Series Paper. Yeah, you know what, Kathy? Summer is busy, so you don't have a lot of time for creating, and this is a great way to make some quick cards and have them on hand, right? And plus, Featuring all these gorgeous designer series papers, buy three, get one free, it's a heck of a deal. You get $11 worth of product for free. This is the same layout again, 
and I've used the Petal Promenade, which is right here. It's that gorgeous, gorgeous floral paper. Holy cow, I absolutely love it. And Petal Pink and Basic Gray are the colors that I used on here. And then, you know the, um, let me show you this page that's in here. Okay, so we've got these pages, right? And I know sometimes people are like, I don't know what to do with that. And I totally, totally get it. I do get it. So here's what I did tonight. I took this and I cut this off and then I cut this off and then I cut down the middle here and then I cut out one each of these. I just cut it, okay? So I'll show you what I came up with. Here's the first one. I stamped the, oh darling, you are fabulous in the middle here. And this again is just, um, well this one's gonna be a little wider I think than three inches, it is, because the, the image here was bigger, three and a half inches. And then put it on a, I think this is Blushing Bride and then a Poppy Parade is one of the colors that's in the flowers here. So that's one way to use these images on here. Now no fussy cutting, I didn't do anything fancy here, right? And then I have, oh, I forgot to share this with you. This is just another pattern on the um, Garden Impressions. I forgot to show you guys that one. Okay, and then here is the square image from the Designer Series paper. And I did the same thing. I've got Lovely Lipstick on um, Granite Gray cardstock base, and I stamped Enjoy Your Special Day in the center. So again, some really super easy cards with Designer Series paper. All of these Designer Series papers that I've shown you are part of the promotion that's going on until Tuesday. Tuesday's the last day, you guys. <clears throat> and then I also showed you this technique using white embossing powder and our Stampin' Blend alcohol markers to color the embossed images. <clears throat> okay, here's my host code. Don't forget to share my video. That gets you entered in a drawing. Use my host code if you're going to be placing an online order that's under $150. Don't use it if your order is over $150 because you'll get Stampin' Rewards and you'll still get special perks from me. Um, I think, don't forget, 10 free ink pads when you join as a discount shopper or a business builder on my team. I've got lots and lots of new members this month. It's a great time to get into my team. I do a lot for my, for my downline and um, everybody so far has really enjoyed it. So that's good. Did anybody have any questions that I might have missed? And I know the viewership is down tonight because it's blurry. I just hope once I post this that it comes out good, right? Oh, and Dion, Pam likes the square one. You like this one. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool too, right? I thought that was darling. I really, really loved the pop of color on these two also. And then the, well, geez, you know, what do you choose? And then this beautiful petal promenade designer series paper. Oh, okay. Renee is asking, what is a discount shopper? Well, there's two things you can do once you buy the kit that Stampin' Up! is giving away 10 free ink pads for during the month of July. One is a business builder. You can build a business out of it like I have. The other thing you can do with it is be a discount shopper. Every order that you put in after you order your discount shopper kit, you get a 20% discount. You also get to order from um, in all of our catalogs a month ahead of the public you would be able to see our holiday um, mini catalog online tomorrow. Um, you get to start ordering from that on August 1st and customers start ordering on September 1st. So there's lots and lots of perks. We've got an on-stage local, or I'm sorry, an on-stage event in Orlando, Florida in November this year, since Stampin' Up! is celebrating their 30th anniversary, it's going to be a huge, huge party. 
And from my experience on the 25th anniversary, Stampin' Up! gives away a ton of stuff at these on-stage events. And um, I have a tea, I think I've got eight or nine so far that I've committed to going. And I just ordered my airline ticket for that November event in Orlando from Wisconsin to Orlando. I got an airline ticket for $276. Go me! <laughs> I don't think I've ever had one that inexpensive. But, um... Yeah, it's a it's it's our discount shopper kit. So once you order that kit, it's just like you know any of the other companies like Mary Kay. You can order their little kit, and then you can order from yourself. Well, you can order our kit, and you can order from yourself. You get to choose a hundred and twenty-five dollars worth of anything you want for ninety-nine dollars. There's no shipping on the kit. You also get to choose a stack from our color families of ten ink pads absolutely free you get a paper pumpkin kit you get a quarterly full color magazine from Stampin' Up! let me see if I, I think I've got one laying right here let me see if I can oh, I know. oh here it is here is our quarterly magazine Stampin' Success it gives you all kinds of ideas in here and all the ingredients on how to make them it's got scrapbooking and stamping in it it's a beautiful, beautiful publication that we get once a quarter. So you get that. And here's the deal. If you want to just order the kit because it's a fabulous deal, you can do that. You don't ever have to do anything else. If you're my customer, you can order that kit because it's a great deal and you can continue to order through me for products. But if you want to take advantage of all the benefits, you can order the kit for $99. And all the orders you place after that, you place through your own ID number, and you get that 20% discount. And once you hit a certain, um, a certain total, then you get a 25% discount. And if you decide to make a business out of this and to sell it, the more that you sell or buy, the bigger discount you get. I usually get a 38% discount every single month based on my sales totals. So you can do it as a business or you can do it as a discount shopper. I treat all my demonstrators under me, that's what we call you, demonstrators, discount shoppers, equally the same. You get all the benefits from me regardless of what you want to do. And I had somebody a couple weeks ago say that, well, they felt like kind of guilty. Like, what if they don't do anything with it and they go inactive? Will I be mad at them? Oh, heck no. You can keep ordering from me. I will still love you. <laughs> I will still love you. I'm not going to be mad at all. I have some people who buy the kit every time there's a promotion, like 10 free ink pads. Stampin' Up! has said that's okay, too. So it's completely up to you, but it's a great deal. It's the best value for your money. Like I said, you can buy most of these Stampin' Blends, alcohol markers. You can get, you know, I don't know, probably almost the whole set. Um, and that, you know, for $99 instead of paying $125. And again, the kit is worth $220. Get that free set of ink pads. Now, this is our promotion that starts on Wednesday. August 1st is the Blended Seasons promotion where you can order this bundle with framelits or without framelits. It com it's completely up to you. And also, I'm trying to find those colored pencils. It's kind of interesting how crazy things get. <laughs> colored pencils, these are all going to be available. These, this is the first time you're going to see these colors. So you've got, I think, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 different um, colored pencils in here and Stampin' Up's colored pencils are artist quality so don't ever think you're just buying something that's hmm, whatever these are artist quality they're absolutely gorgeous you use them with a paintbrush an aqua painter a blender pen whatever whatever your choice is to use with watercolor pencils but they're absolutely gorgeous so does anybody else have any questions thank you Debbie and um, Kim is saying, do it. It's so worth it. It is so worth it. What's the price for the bundle? Hang on, Marsha, and I will get that for you. Okay. So if you bundle 
the stamp set and the stitch seasons framelits together a clear mount is $64.75 you get 12 different images in here and 10 different dies in here the um, watercolor pencils are an add-on and they are $12.50 for 10 of them so that's a really good price on those too and of course because this is a big promotion you're going to find tons and tons of ideas using this bundle because as Stamping Up demonstrators do, we concentrate on whatever the promotion is. So we're making stuff like crazy using this particular um, bundle. And one other thing I want to tell you is that we, I will have a bunch of different projects available when you order this bundle from me you're going to get a whole bunch of ideas in the form of a PDF file with pictures, ingredients, dimensions, brief instructions, um, a whole bunch of these project sheets that I will combine into one file with a ton of ideas using the color your season. But remember, you can't order this until Wednesday. So make sure you look for the hostess code in the right-hand column of my blog. On Wednesday it will be a different code than this and that's fine just use the one that you'll find on there because we're starting a new month and these codes only last for a month so just look for it and you'll find it there when you're pl placing your online orders but yeah that was a great question Marcia thank you and Linda yeah if you become a discount shopper you'll go crazy with the catalog you know what a lot of people go crazy with the catalog not being a discount shopper and at least Linda you're getting the discount right I love that okay and the watercolor pencils are great if you're traveling with your stuff too that's a great point Marsha all right I think I have kept you long enough we're going on an hour and a half here tonight I am going to post this video to my Facebook page so if you had trouble seeing anything we can hope that it will be better always remember I am posting my all of these projects that we just made together will be on my blog on Tuesday so you give me a couple a couple days to get all the photography done watermarks on them and my video uploaded to YouTube so I can put it on my blog with this you'll find all the dimensions and crystal clear pictures of all these projects on my blog on Tuesday so I always like to do that because I know Sometimes the quality of these videos isn't what it should be. So there you go. All right, you guys. I'm going to look back through messages to see if I missed any questions. If I did, I really apologize. Thank you so much for spending the evening with me. Thank you for sharing the video. Make sure you click on share so that um, I can get out to as many people as possible. That really helps me out, and I appreciate it. And thanks for tuning in. You guys have a fabulous week. Good night.